We often get calls, people usually in a bit of a panic that they have growing inside their ductwork. I'm out today for a pretty common problem that we get on homes. We've got growth coming up around supply vents. Let me show you some of that. We often get calls, people usually in a bit of a panic that they have growing inside their ductwork or inside their AC and that it's spitting out. And so the assumption often is that whatever's coming out of here is being blown out of the duct. So I'm just going to put that mist to rest here real quick. You can see how it's pretty thickly built up around this. But if you look up inside your ductwork, you actually have a very clean surface. So what's happening is the cold air is coming out and making contact with these surfaces, you know, as the unit runs and they start getting cold. So the humidity in the air starts to condensate on the surface because it's got cold enough to reach dew point for this space. And as that humidity sits there, the condensation, then dust collects and it starts to grow. The dust is coming from, let me show you. Here's where I found the source of our problem exists. The boot is usually not sealed to the attic space. And so you have this hot, humid, very dirty attic space that when the unit shuts off and everything's still wet, the dust and everything from that space comes out and collects and starts to grow. So the solution is actually taking and sealing these gaps completely. We have no outside air coming in. Every once in a while you just have a grill that the airflow is really directly hitting the ceiling. And the solution there would be to change your airflow direction just a little bit. Because what can happen there is the cold air will come out and hit that ceiling it'll start condensating and any micro dust that makes it past your filter will hit that and then eventually you know throughout the years it'll start building up and getting dirty and it cause growth uh, but this situation is actually a leak actually a gap up here so we're going to take care of that so this can be kind of a sticky conversation because sometimes the customer is thinking that there's there's inside the ductwork that can actually you know cause future problems or health issues and a little thing i like to do to demonstrate to the customer that's not the case is just to take a, a rag like this and go up inside the supply ductwork and you can use it to wipe around and show that you know there might be a little bit of dust but there's definitely nothing like this you know inside that and uh here we're in an apartment complex you got a fire damper and it can't really fit up in there show you but you could see from the video that uh, the ductwork is clean so find a way to demonstrate that to the customer when you run into these situations put their mind at ease that it's not you know your ductwork isn't completely infested with you know what I mean that's usually the concern that they actually have and you can take care of this problem and stop it before it becomes any kind of or a health concern so the first step is I'm gonna clean this up right here all the way around the edges and inside here. And then once that dries, I'm just going to seal every gap. Got gun. Step two. And then you're good. If your grill has dirt and growth on it, because sometimes it will, when this happens, when it's leaking into the attic, clean that up too so everything looks good. Go. So sometimes the boot can be loose and if you have access to the attic go up and secure it and seal it from the top that's a better way when this actually screws in place and it grips onto the boot it'll pull it against the ceiling sometimes but this situation you know there's no movement there's no give in this boot and so when I seal this gap from the inside it'll hold and we're also in an apartment complex so going into the attic is not an option here
and a word to the wise. Do not try to spray f foam in there. It'll expand and, and push your boot right off of the ceiling. So I'm gonna say I tried that once, but uh, just don't do that. Got it sealed up and we'll have no air coming in from the attic. No dust coming in from the attic. And that will take care of that problem. <laughs>